I am going to give a quick demonstration of a loose watercolor and uh, I'm, I'm just going to paint it without any reference and without any uh, proper uh, ideas to begin with. So in such situations what I do is either I just uh, make a mark of uh, where a horizon is going to be, maybe a division of a sky and the land, but this is not mandatory I am just uh, I have to make a start so just for that I am making this kind of a division and uh, I might change this okay so this is just I am trying to just make a start and get some observation and do some observation on the paper and then tr ex expecting to get some inspiration uh, from the paper sorry for those uh, background noises So first let me wet some of this area for the sky and uh, I'm not wetting it in, in entirety and what I'm expecting is that I will make some blue sky wherein I'm missing sorry sorry for that uh, moment hope it is still looking good I'm um, taking a little bit of uh, cerulean blue and a touch of mauve for the sky okay and just making some sky okay not not too much of uh, planning and let me drop in some mauve somewhere Trying to soften this as I come down. Okay. Let something be created automatically. Okay, so this is sort this is sort of a this is sort of a sky and uh, let me do something at the background for that. I'm taking a a little bit of a smaller brush and I want something some some cobalt blue cobalt blue maybe I'll take a little bit of more also cobalt blue and I'll make it little grayish with little orange see I, this is just a dynamic thought so I don't have any clear idea why why I am picking this color, why not some other color, it is just, I am just following my sort of impulse and trying to get something done, that's it. Okay, this could be something at the distance, okay. Maybe a little bit more bluish stuff at the far end. I don't have, as I told, I don't have a clear idea of uh, what this is going to be. But let us expect that something will happen. Okay, we are just um, sort of playing around. I think it is still visible. Well, okay. Okay, now let this be like this and let us make some quick sort of see there are some accumulation of water at the bottom so I don't want this to happen because it will create problem later okay it will do some background and some uh, some blooming of you know, effect it might I'm expecting that I'm afraid that it might create something of that sort so we need some land okay so for the land not sure what should be the color so let me take some yellow ochre 
I'm taking some yellow ochre and I'm trying to mix that yellow ochre here and not sure what I will make. Some piece of land. Little burn sienna. See, I'm as as I told, this is just sort of uh, doing thing from uh, imagination. Okay, so and I wouldn't say it is fully imagination because we don't have a I don't have a clear idea of how it will look later. So I'm just adding thicker version of uh, burnt sienna and maybe a bit of more more burnt sienna. Burns in a blue. Maybe a little red also. Okay. So I'm just trying to make some sort of a feel or something. I think we are pretty much done now. Now what I would do is maybe I will make sprinkle some water just to create some texture. And let me let us make some sort of uh, some sort of trees or something. Again, taking burnt sienna and maybe some cobalt blue or a cerulean blue. These are some cerulean blue and some burnt sienna, maybe a touch of red. I'm not very, see, we are just playing with colors, okay, so not. Just trying to get some tree sort of thing here, not too much. Okay. Maybe some color variation and Some other trees here. I think I will get this thing dried and then we will make some details. So always be a little playful. Maybe some branches for that. Some branches.
okay some tree this is not a precise tree i would say just some sort of a tree okay i don't know if i should make some tree here i think i will just leave it like this something at the distance okay some maybe we'll make some shadows and we'll finish it up for the shadows i'm going to make some some cobalt to blue and some mauve this is cobalt to blue and some mauve color and maybe i'll just make some shadow here uh, maybe that's it and maybe some couple of people with some thicker color maybe some darker color prussian blue crimson lake darker color that's it and i'll make some sort of people here people are here to create some stories and uh, maybe the scaling and all those things we are done okay i think we are pretty much done with this it's a simple work okay so we'll just put the signature and we'll stop it so this is a quick watercolor demonstration if you think uh, these kind of tutorials are useful demonstrations are useful to you please uh, give a thumbs up and uh, if you first time on my channel you can consider subscribing i'll try to post more and more videos on watercolor demonstrations and uh, now i have been there, there was some gap uh, in gap uh, I, i couldn't consistently post uh, for the past couple of months uh, due to various uh, reasons but i will try to make it more consistent and uh, simple watercolor videos which is with the fully demonstrate fully demonstrate fully narrated demonstrations and uh, uh, please if you have any doubt please let me know in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions for topics and uh, if you think uh, Uh, if you think uh, you can uh, you, you you can get more information from my live demonstration on youtube or instagram uh, you can uh, subscribe or follow uh, in on instagram i'll be i'll be most likely uh, giving live demonstration on once in a week most likely thursday 9 pm india time thursday 9 pm india time but that might vary okay so uh, my instagram handle is uh, given in the description below so please let me know if you have any any questions on the materials or the uh, or the or the approach or anything about loose watercolors okay thank you very much so hopefully we'll see you soon bye bye